Howdy YouTubers. Okay, today I'm in a location that I was out at probably a year ago. Um, what's interesting me in this spot is my son and I were out here hunting and there's a big flat spot right up here. And as you can see, there's a cleared off flat spot right in here. Um, we were hunting this area and you can see an evidence of an old house foundation and just presence of people. And I know the town was uh, a logging town back started around 1870, 1880, um, and then it died off around the 1840s, or 1940s, and what got me out here is this big old hole. Now, if you can see, right here is a piece of metal, and then on this side here is another piece of metal. <clears throat> I believe what I've come across is at some point later, somebody put a septic system in here, and this is a septic tank because when I was down in here looking up at the top side of this side and the top side of this side over here there are pipes coming in if that's the case anything that went down that drain is in the bottom and now when I was here last all these rocks that are around here were not here so someone's come across this thing also and they put rocks around it in hopes that uh, it'll bring awareness my plan is to move the rocks away get rid of some of the dirt around the edges so it doesn't fall in when I'm down there uh, emptying this thing out and uh, clear off a space up here so I can throw the dirt up to and then detect it so let me get this thing started and uh, I'll get to you then okay I'm, a, I'm into this thing for an hour and a half now that's the only dent I've made I cleared all the big rocks out of here because there were some big rocks in here I mean, pretty good sized ones. That's my hand against some of them. Some of them are laying back there. <clears throat> I cleared a spot off, which you really can't tell, of all the leaves. It goes out about 8 feet, comes back. It's probably 8 foot by 8 foot easily. There's some of the muck I've dug out of this thing. The problem is, is it rained really hard last night. I didn't anticipate that part of it. Um, this thing is sloped downhill. I'm actually standing it now. Here's one, I believe this is the uh, the line that goes out the leech lines. The other line, uh, I can't really get to it. Uh, this place, the top is caved in, but it's back in here. I might be able to see it through that crack. No, I really can't. I'd have to take this piece of metal off. And I'm gonna do, not doing that because it's still holding up some of the earth. Anyways, it uh, slopes down this way slightly, so it's not in here level. I would say it's probably about a 300, 350 gallon tank with the water in here. It ain't that pleasant. So I thought, well, with the slope, if anything travels, it got in here, it hopefully will travel downhill. I tried poking down in there with the shovel to break through, hoping, you know, it was a shot uh, to break through and let the water drain out. But after I dug, I dug out what I could in here and retained on the shovel what I could and started scooping it up here oop, up here and uh, just going through it with my probe well I did come across coins it looks like a couple pennies stuck together and I mean they are stuck stuck together so they've obviously rusted together with something um, and I can't really oh yeah it's a weed it's a wheat scent that's in there. I don't know if I can pick that up on the camera. Let's see if I can get that. A fat chance. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a wheat on that side. This side has just got too much stuff and junk stuck to it. So then I scoop this pile over here and I'm going through another one. And I see a silver in there. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. This is a tough dig. Okay, it's a rosy. I don't have anything to wash it off in and I'm not going to wipe it I'm certainly not going to put it in that water and wipe it off or clean it off so I'm going to shovel up a bunch more from that hole try to retain what I can on the shovel and chuck it up here on this pile so I'll get back to you in a little bit I'm tired Alright, here's where I'm at. I'm done digging in that hole. 
it just keeps filling in it's not easy it's pain in the butt dug a bunch more out i'll show you what the stuff i'm digging when i get down low or deep i get this oh, let me my shovel so i got my shovel i get this almost jelly paste crap <laughs> i use the crap uh word differently because well i'm in a septic system um and that's what i found that penny and the silver diamond so what i've done is i've got it spread out here and the good tones are with my detector where's it at right here with the yellow leaf this is not a really great tone that one's a good tone and that one's a good tone from what i found already with those two uh i believe there are two wheat pennies in that one rosy and hey, we'll be back to empty this thing but it's october like fifth now so i'll be waiting until next summer because i'm not doing it with it moist like this i'm gonna set up my uh camera on my shovel pole here shining down on this and hopefully you can hear everything but i'm tired of doing this and i'm definitely gonna pull those good tones out of here and move on for the day it's just too much work and not pleasant one moment okay here we are this was a high tone that was a high tone uh, that one was a low once in a while tone and that was a high tone i'll swing over them hopefully you can hear them that one makes a noise once in a while now I have found some iron in here too, which squeaks out once in a while. When I before I found that penny, that is. Oop. There's something over there too. Need another leaf. That one's probably iron. We'll check that one too. Alrighty. Let me get my other glove on. I brought new gloves today. What a perfect place to break those poor things in. They are nasty. They were new. Now they're poo. <laughs> Let's go for the low tone thing first. It's a nail. I think that was on top of the ground. I didn't clear that one very well. Ah, it's just over. It's a poo silver. It's another rosy. Oh, oh not my tin machine in the poo. Right, my coil up. Something else in there. Oh, it's another silver. Oh, it's another silver. It's a Merc. Oh, flat. Oh, heavily worn. I don't mind rubbing that one. The 20s. The 20s Merc. Alrighty, moving on. Oops, no, not no way. <laughs> oh, it's stuck on the end. It's a penny. Most likely, wheat. Oh, it's got the crusty stuff stuck to it too. I can't see it. You see the front of it. The back has got some clump stuck to it.
must be a penny. You no, know it's shiny. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a. The back's. Oh man, that stuff is nasty. I can't tell. Ugh. Stuff just sticks everywhere. I hate rubbing them. Okay. That is a rosy. I can see the back of it. That is three. That's one. Nasty hole. Next one. Oh, duh. Let's go. Is it right close to the side where the shovel scoops it up? Ah. Man, this is nasty. I do not recommend it. Oh, it's penny. You can see it inside there. Mmm, smells good. I thought for sure by now this stuff would be all decomposed and solidified. Well, a little better than what it is. Jeez, there's something stuck to these things. Other than poo. I don't know a year. to set my machine somewhere where it isn't uh oh okay. that one's right on top penny a nasty penny <sighs> should have brought a throwaway rag wasn't gonna be in yard so yeah so we wasn't gonna be in yard so I didn't bring Another wheat. I got a feeling these are all wheat. That sounds awesome. It's a giant. It's a, no, it's a ring. It's a blue ring. I don't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what's stuck to that thing. That is just gross. I will be getting some Clorox out. I get home. Oh, Ooh, that is cool. Poo ring. Man almighty. That is three silvers. Okay. Oh, no, there's a spot. I dug that one. Oh, I gotta check that one over there. I don't know if that one's in the camera. Let me look. Uh, no, you can't see that one. Let me rotate. There's a sound right there by the tip of my probe. Oh, stupid phone changed directions. Let me fix that. Well, that's going to be a weird video. I don't know when it changed directions, and I don't know how much you missed. But I have dug three silver coins uh, on this rock. There are three silver dimes. And a silver ring and three pennies. Two of the diamonds are Roosevelt's and one is a Merc. And that Merc stuff again. Something around. Ah, uh, just just just, kind of, just disintegrate. It's iron. Alrighty, I'm gonna pause it and scan this with my main detector again. As soon as I get my gloves off, and we'll see what more might be in there.
Okay, so I went back and watched the video. Apparently, my camera never turned, but when I walked up to it, it looked like I'd turned it to where the long part was up and down instead of side to side like a TV. Anyways. Oh, no, I didn't make a noise. There's a possibility of something here. There just happens to be right here some of that black smudge fudge. So when I dig it, I think I can find Now I'm past all the the junk and I'm back to the ground ground that I was raking on my stupid pinpointer. It's probably nothing. Yeah, I'm down there a little ways. I'm actually in the ground. Could it be a coin? Oh man, whatever it was I flicked off. Oh, there it is. I don't know what it is, but it's... Uh... I don't know what that is. There it is. It looks like it might be copper. Just some garbage. Oop, almost dropped it. Alrighty. I think that's the end of the video because I don't think I'm digging this anymore. Thanks for being on my adventure today into the poop pile. Um, I'll be back here in about eight months when this is dry. It's a little bit better to dig. I will definitely be back here and hopefully find more silver. Alrighty, until next time. We'll see you later. Okay, here we are at the digs of the day from that uh, old septic system, <clears throat> or septic tank. Like I mentioned, I'm going to go back up there and I'm going to be digging that thing when it dries out a little bit. Hopefully it does. So what we got here, from the ones I can see, this one was a 56 wheat. This was a 49 wheat. Can't see the date on this one. They get this, they got this crust on them where you just can't, I mean look how thick that penny is. I can't get it off there. It just is so stuck. I don't know what it is. I can't get this date off this one. These two are the ones that are sandwiched together. I haven't broken them apart yet. I have no idea what the heck is holding them together. No idea on the dates of those two. So I believe they're all wheats. That one I know is a wheat. Well, that one because of the date I know is wheat. This one because of the date I know is a wheat. Don't know. I'm sure they're... Nope, that one's a wheat. That one's probably a wheat, too. So, for the silver, the first one... I forgot the date on it one moment. 56. Mint mark. A D. 56 D. A 54 D. Uh, this one is a 49. Really nasty on the back. 49 S. And the only Merc that came from there was a 20 or a 29. I think it's a 20 because the loop on the top part of the 9 looks totally different than where it says 192. I'm going to go with a 1920. I don't think that one had a mint mark that I could read. No mint mark. And then the ring is silver. Right. I don't know if we can get this. Oh, uh -oh not if I'm going to drop it. Find it. Can't find it while looking through the camera. Look at that. There it is. Okay. Right on the part that's touching my finger. I can see 925 on it. So I know it's silver. It sounded like silver. It really was high pitch. 
The center stone, possibly a ruby. Got a cool red color to it. You can see it's kind of bent there. Had kind of a rough life. So I would imagine all that damage was done before it went down the drain. It's even bent this direction a little bit. See it's kicked at the bottom towards the right hand side. Now in it, if I can show you this, get zoomed in good enough. Yeah, I can see that. Right here, you can see the presence of another stone. And I believe these spots here, all the way around, there'd be three here and here. One here, one here, one here, one here. And then at the very bottom, there's one still there. And at the top, there's one still there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it zoomed in enough where you can really see it. But they're a weird... They're not a transparent stone. Well, they might be, and they're just completely set in where there's no light coming in from the back side. <clears throat> kind of a neat ring. No clue on age. Nice find. Great dig. I will definitely be back up there. I'm not giving away the location because there's too many locals that uh, I know watch my channel. And if this is what I got from just that one end, what else could be in there? I have no idea. But I will be certainly checking it out. Thank you for watching, and uh, i got to get inside and do my final on the uh, subscriber giveaway, because I broke 100 a long time ago, and when I hit 250, I'll be doing another one, so stay tuned, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Build those subscribers up, and I'll be giving away some more silver. See you in a bit.